it's rare that we get the chance to celebrate the great unsung heroes of sport. So often we focus on the coach, the manager, and of course the athlete themselves. Yet, in the beginning, the majority of athletes' passions were ignited, nurtured, and cared for by people closer to home, our families. My family were an inspiration to me, but the recipients tonight have been an inspiration to us all and have led the greatest renaissance in British tennis, culminating in victory in the Davis Cup. They have also galvanized a passion for tennis in this nation that we have not seen for many decades, inspiring a new generation of players. As we sit here today, one sibling is ranked number two in the world in singles and the other number one in doubles. It started back in the early 90s when their mum decided her little boys, then aged seven and eight, who she was teaching to play on the public courts in a small Scottish town of Dunblane, could benefit from a bit more expertise. She applied for a place on the highest Lawn Tennis Association's coaching course in the country. She was asked what could she possibly offer to performance coaching when she had two young children. Little did they know, 20 years or so on, that they would be one of the most influential figures in British tennis, and together they would have accumulated multiple titles at Tour, Grand Slam, and Olympic level, and finally that victory in the Davis Cup for the first time in 79 years. It's not just the impact they've had at the elite end of the game. Their inspiration and passion would drive renewed interest at grassroots and instill an acute understanding of sport's role in maintaining an active and healthy lifestyle. From picking up the mantle of captain of the Federation Cup, their mum, or duty to the rest of us, went on to help drive the women's game and has founded grassroots programs set for sport, tennis on the road, and miss it. They support each other, they care about each other, and they push each other. The story is a living fable of the importance of parental and family sport in our sporting landscape. Their story has transformed British tennis, and they placed our country at the heart of one of the greatest eras in tennis history. And the winner of Outstanding Contribution to Sport is I'm not even going to open it. It's the Murray family. <laughs> Quickly have a word with uh, Judy and Jamie. You just, yeah, stand by, stand by. Don't go anywhere, just at a moment. Um, well, what a moment, uh, Judy and Jamie. We, you're here representing the family tonight. I know Dad couldn't be here. Uh, I know there's another son I think you have who is also quite important to the general scheme of things. Um, uh, but how chuffed do you feel to ha have won this award? Bearing in mind, I have this on very good authority, that the Kardashians were also in the running. <laughs> I think they're a lot better looking than us. <laughs> Uh, well, apart from having to breathe in all night because my dress is a little bit tight. Looks um, magnificent, everybody. <laughs> we agree. Magnificent. Uh, yeah, yeah, round of applause for Judy. Well done. Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it, it's amazing. I, I think uh, we were back in Dunblane a couple of days ago when Jamie brought the Davis Cup trophy back home. And I think it's when we're at home and he visited the two schools that he went to and the club. And I think it's when we go to the club especially that you realise... What, well, I realised what they achieved because they were just two little boys from a little Scottish town that has no track record of tennis in our country and they went on to do what they did and I think that's when it kind of hits me what, what they've done but I think as, as well as being uh, you know, great athletes uh, they are 
they're great kids. They're, they're good people, and uh, that's what makes me the, the, the most proud. Uh, your two little boys grew up to be quite big boys, didn't they? And Jamie, uh, I mean, uh, I know this is uh, a Murray family loving, and we're absolutely all loving to be part of this, but I mean, how much joking aside do you think you owe to mum? Yeah, everything, I think. Um, you know, she, she creates so many... I popped him out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't talking necessarily biological <laughs> specifics, Judy, uh, but I, I had sort of worked that one out. <laughs> uh, not everything, I think... Um, you know, she creates so many opportunities for us and, and not just us, for lots of other kids in Scotland and across Britain. And, you know, she wanted to give uh, us the opportunities that she didn't have when she was trying to be a tennis player growing up in, uh, in Scotland a very, very long time ago. Um, <laughs> not that long ago. Uh, this is getting quite awkward, guys. I mean, you know, do you want to leave this for behind closed doors? Absolutely, yeah. um, uh, But, Jake, it's fun if I was reading about your parenting um, formula in, in one of the papers this week, and I think it, I couldn't work out whether it was more carrot or more stick, and I'm not saying you <laughs> cane your children to make them into champions, but what is the secret to parenting uh, people to greatness? I think, uh, I mean, for me, I love my sport, and I wanted my kids to enjoy sport. They ended up enjoying tennis a lot and for me it was just as Jamie said it was about creating the opportunities for them to keep developing and improving and to always be there to support them whether things are going well or not so well because you know what it's like in sport one minute it's great the next minute it's awful um, and just to be supportive as, as possible and uh, yeah well they did okay. It's Mother's Day and a week on Sunday by the way just so you know so I think <laughs> you'll want to be buying a car Jamie. Now I won't have escaped your notice that we have a a world number one in the room with us here today. Phenomenal year for you. You won your first Grand Slam title. Your brother is merely a world number two. Does that mean when you go home, you get the choice of top or bottom bunk? Yeah, even, <laughs> yeah that ranking doesn't register with me anymore. Um, yeah, look, it's, uh, it's cool. You know, we've, we've both had amazing careers, especially, you know, Andy's done so many great things over the last kind of 10 years and really carried the sport in, in this country since, uh, since Tim stopped, basically. And, um, you know, I hope that, that one day he will, uh, he will get to number, number one. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, in any other area, he probably would have done it. It's just that there's uh, two or three other guys here that are pretty, pretty damn good at the sport as They're well. They're not bad. And actually, as you saw, he is striving at this very moment to get to that number one. He's preparing, of course, for the clay court season, the French Open. Uh, he couldn't be with us this evening. I'm, I'm sure he'll get a ticking off from Mum, but I think for a good reason. And uh, he did send us this message because he really did want to be with us tonight. I just wanted to say thank you very much. Um, for this award, it means um, a lot to, to me and, and my family. Um, this is the first award that I've ever been given along with all of, all of my family and I'm very proud of everything that my brother's achieved um, in his career to, to date and everything that my mum does for, for British tennis on, on a daily basis. This has been her life for a very long time and she does a, a great job, so well done. Uh, to my mum and, and my brother and um, I try to play my, my part um, as much as I can too so thank you very much.